Welcome to Camping with Steve. We got the school bus here and I'm planning to do some stealth camping in it. I don't know yet how I'm going to make it stealthy, but the first things first is probably window tint. That's going to help. We've got uh, a couple of seats at least we're going to zip out with the grinder. And the washer fluid pump doesn't work, so uh, Crazy Neighbor's going to be handling the washer fluid pump. I'll be scrubbing down the windows. Then we'll get this tint slapped on there to kind of hide what's happening inside the bus if I have to have a light on or be cooking. And the rest of the detailed procedure of us working on this thing. Oh, nature. Can't, can't escape nature. Uh, the rest of that is going to be going on the Step 2 channel. So let's get cracking on the bus. Come on, old stealthy, you can do her. Ho oh, ho! We got juice! <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful. Stealth bus, stealth bus. I uh, installed a cot. It's not really installed, it's just sitting there. But I couldn't wait to get out and camp in this thing, so we've done the bare minimum that we can to make it even remotely stealthy. We got tint on the windows, and that's about it. So the only place I could figure that would work is outside of a school bus yard. And provided the people that work for the school bus company don't see an oddball bus out there they don't recognize, we should be able to not draw any attention from police or anything like that. So I'm going to try and get some more, some more uh, things to black out the windows here. And uh, that'll help if I need a light on in here tonight. And we'll just try and make it as dark as possible. From the outside, you shouldn't be able to see anything once we get the blackout on the windows. So far the search is going. Not good. Um, I'm looking for that landscaping fabric to stop weeds from coming through. And I just want to glue that in on the inside here and there. Uh, to try and make it a little more blacked out. So I've got one more place to check. Trusty old Canadian Tire. If they don't have it, I don't know who will. Oh, perfect success. Got uh, 50 feet of this stuff, uh, three foot by 50 foot. Got the thickest they sell. The stuff's guaranteed for 20 years. And what I like about this, instead of like a tarp or that little blackout paper, is this is not gonna crinkle if it moves around. Uh, it's got a nice non-reflective surface on it and I have used before those um, poster board things and of course with humidity in the air they just crinkle up and fall off so purely temporary measure it took every ounce of self-control to not just buy everything I needed in there to furnish this um, quite nicely because run it out of sunlight and we got to get this thing stealthed up a little bit so eventually uh, we will get like a rudimentary uh, setup going in here and we're not just going to rush into ripping out the ceilings and everything. There's a million and one van shows about that and bus conversions. So we're going to take it step by step. This is, uh, we want to do it properly and what's going to work for us. So there will be like a shower of some kind in here, a bed and a little kitchen thing. And that's pretty much what most of our needs are when we're on the road for multiple weeks. So we will find a less obvious parking spot <laughs> to install this stuff on. Around back the store, beside the no camping sign, uh, we'll start cutting this stuff, putting it on the windows, and uh, we'll do a light test when it gets a little darker and see how much of the light that blocks out. I hope a lot. This. Poverty curtains. This is exactly the type of stuff that they put in your lease agreement not to use in your windows at your apartment. So, I got some... Uh, Magnetic hooks. I love my magnets and that should work quite good here. Just stick on a magnet, 
cut it to length, another small piece for the bottom. That gets rid of this back window issue quite nicely. Nobody's seeing through this, I'll say that. That's beautiful. So these back windows already have a little bit of tint on them. Uh, it looks like the windows have been dipped or something factory, so this will be perfect. And with a little more of this on the tinted windows, I don't know, it's seeming a little stealthy to me already. And you can still see a bit of light coming in, but from the outside, I think that's going to be pretty tricky to see. Well, well, from the outside, I've, I've even shocked myself. Looks just fine. You can't see the fabric moving right around. How about that? That's great. So I've got a little more time than I thought before it could start. So I'm gonna see what I can find to further furnish this thing for a cozy, comfy night. Back here. All of this stealth shield has made the place a little bit dingy. So, made a quick stop and picked up a few things, including some lighting, which should make this place uh, downright domestic, I think. Layer one. Oh, the perfect fit. measuring around here. Uh, if I did measure, it would somehow not fit, but just with the ancient art of eyeballing it, we got it spot on. Is it that new home smell in here? This is looking more like home already. Amazing what a little cheap uh, furniture and a little light can do. It's on there with double-sided tape. Oh, I guess it's not really on there very good. Yeah, a little more double-sided tape or something better. Um, but yeah, we're not going too far with that. And our sun is just about to set in 15 minutes. So then we got a half an hour of twilight and then after that, we're gonna have a very good idea of how much light is coming out of the sides of this thing. And we'll have to do a little partition up at the front, but uh, we'll save that for now. Um, this is pure luxury. Um, and it's nice and bear resistant. It'll at least give me the time to make it to the front and drive away if there's an issue. So, yeah, a little more double-sided tape. Pulled up here down the road to where I plan to park for the night. And you may understand why. Once I turn around here and show you what's on the other side. So yeah, it looks like it generally belongs in the area. 
And if there's anybody driving around at night, school bus there, school bus is there, it's not gonna stand out. If you're driving a sketchy vehicle, that's when you're gonna have problems. Or if they see you walking around with a camera out here filming something. So I'm gonna get back in, turn on the lights, and then we do our light check and see, see how the lights appear from the outside. But yes, there's been some lighting upgrades. I've turned on our dome lights and I'm gonna turn this one on too. This one is right up against the window and I don't have anything in yet to block the light. I know this will be a little bit visible through there, but I'm sure we can find something to cover that up. So this is about as light as it could possibly be in here before I put in more lights. And I'll just go outside. Our door as if I should get that lock fixed one day. Okay, so from the back of the bus, uh, I don't see really too much there. Yeah, so you can kind of see the lights, particularly this one here through the window. But with that covered up, it should be just fine. Anyone casually driving by is not gonna notice the faint, faint glow from inside of this bus. Because to me, it looks pretty stealthy. And uh, blending in in plain sight with all these other buses. <laughs> this is great. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm just stealthing away here. Of course, no step twos because we're in current control of a vehicle. And, um, yeah, the heater issue, uh, I was gonna cook on that. That's gonna have to wait because it's not really starting for me. Yeah, I got a couple old rusty propane cylinders, those little green ones, and it's not liking them one bit. Thankfully, I bring backup food with me. Salami. An old cheddar. Uh, can't go wrong with that. It's, uh, it's fancy salami, too. See, we got... Uh, all that on there. Yes, I love you, Jen A. So, chow in on this. Um, yeah, no step two obviously for legal reasons but don't worry about that we're definitely uh, gonna have some in a future video here real soon so I will thank all the folks who are dining with me tonight in spirit and having their own step twos thank you all so much uh, yeah I've eaten worse, but I don't know what these things are in here. I'm guessing they're kale or arugula or something like that. Maybe a fancy lettuce. I'm more of a leaf lettuce guy. But I'm going to shut this light down here fairly quickly because um, this is a roundabout here. And I'm parked right on the one edge of it. Mm. Oh, that's spicy. It's good. Um, and if I planned it out better, the light, this little guy here, would be on the other side of the thing because that's the non road side, you know. There's no sidewalk over there or anything. So if there was light shining there, it would be a lot less conspicuous than somebody trying to turn around and seeing a, this humongous beacon blasting through the window. Um, well, at any rate, chow down on this. And yeah, we got the bus to a functional point. And I really don't want this thing to turn into 
a 10 year journey where like my truck camper, it never gets done. I want it to be like functional right off the start and then slow improvements come along um, as, as quickly as they can. So we're gonna try it out like this. Um, we'll throw in a couple more uh, permanent cot type of things and that will allow us to assess where we're gonna actually want everything, how we want it laid out and then we're just, we're gonna go for it. But I think for right now, we actually have a fairly functional camper and it's going to see a lot of use uh, over the next little bit here. So, um, I'm gonna munch on this, crawl into bed, and hopefully get up, uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? I'm not gonna get up before the bus people are getting in their buses to go to school. Um, I'm just praying that the shop manager won't come around and think this was dropped off for some reason, or you know, maybe somebody bought a new bus that they're gonna put back in service, I don't know. We'll see, um, but cheers all. There shouldn't be any issues with, you know, any of the police that would drive past on a patrol. This would look completely in place. Oh yeah. Uh, cheers everyone. See you in the morning. I don't even want to know what time it is, but the school bus drivers have started firing up their chariots over there for the day. So that is my ticket to fly, and couldn't be a better time. Yeah, they're testing out all their lights and everything, uh, getting, ready to, getting ready to take those kids to school. So, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Of course it snowed again in the middle of the night because that's what it does best. But this time I was invincible inside of the bus. So perfect. Let this thing warm up. We can find the temperature gauges. And uh yeah, we'll find somewhere else to go hang out for the morning and uh, find a way to eat something for breakfast. We are out of here. Uh, pretty dark, eh? Hey? That's the beauty of these things. But people always say, Steve, what's the deal with the magnets? Well, this is the deal with the magnets. I need a little light. And that should do the job. Magnets to the rescue. Ta-da, I can almost see now. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba, delicious, nutritious breakfast. Chilling in a parking lot, trying to scam some Wi-Fi. Reminds me of my 20s living in the motorhome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it is pretty cool to be in such a larger space. Uh, this would be no fun whatsoever, sitting in a car, trying to get Wi-Fi and stuff. But you know, walk around in here, sit down, relax. Uh, it, it is pretty sweet. It's just a world of difference to have this much space in a vehicle. Um, it's way easier to remain stealthy, aside from the fact it's this gigantic yellow thing. But uh, no problems last night, no problems at all. Ooh, fresh. Well, this is the first appearance of this bus on the main channel. I've done two for the Steve Wallace Step 2 channel 
for the folks that can't get enough of this weird stuff. Uh, but I'm going to explain it now because, yeah, for most of you, this is the first time you're seeing it. It, uh, well, to begin with, it's got the worst engine ever created, apparently, the Navistar uh, VT365 6-liter diesel. It's the same as what they use in the Power Strokes. However, it's different because on the Fords, they really put the power to them. They did their own fuel management thing. This, it's running at a lot lower horsepower, should have run hopefully longer. And it's got 250,000 kilometers on it. Um, so in miles, that's about 150,000 miles, 155,000. So this, um, <clears throat> it should have quite a bit of life left on it if I maintain it, um, which I'm normally not good at, but I'm gonna really try with this one. So Allison transmission, automatic, uh, it's really nice things. Actually got cruise control and this tilt steering. I don't know why you'd need it that high, but it's got it. And uh, never having drove a bus before, I found this interesting. Looks like, you know, something about a fighter jet with all these switches. 90% um, of these are just to control the heaters in here. So there's um, heater, heater, defrost fan, rear heater, rear heater, a boost pump for the heater, heated mirrors, strobe lights still on the top of the bus for visibility. Be nice in the um, in the uh, fog. And then just a cross gate, which is no longer attached, that uh, pushes kids out of the way so you don't squish them with the bus. And uh, this is a really cool button that I think every car should have. The noise kill button. So, say I got, uh, say I got all these heaters going, maybe the radio too. So where does she get her tip? Push the noise kill button, everything shuts off that makes noise. Love it. Um, what could be better? Uh, aside from that, um, Got a windshield chip there on the drive out here. Uh, it was a fairly good condition windshield before that, so yay. Uh, yeah, first 10 minutes on a serious trip. Chips in the window, and I won't see another one until the day I replace it, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, you know, more stuff to do, more stuff to do. Uh, different than when I was a kid also, is opening and closing this door. Because, you know, if <laughs> I'm just gonna sound old. Uh, when I was a kid, yeah, when I was a kid, the bus driver would like pull open this handle here and the door would swing open. Well, no, 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 not so much anymore these days. What happens is, there's a button. Ta-da! Ah, cold out there. But yes, all electronical. So uh, aside from that, um, this is a regular school bus, I guess. So gonna chow down on this I better start editing this video because it's actually Thursday today and uh, it's quite early but um, I don't know where I'm gonna upload this from so it could take a while to upload well thanks for uh, thanks for following along on this first of what's gonna be many videos featuring this bus and it's just gonna find its way into the rotation you know there's some stealth things there's some weird shelters uh, and now this bus is gonna really allow us to drive around and do the longer trips because the last time when we went on our little trip that's where we found the garbage castle the abandoned gas station these are things I'd never seen locally around the area but I actually have to be out there driving around to see them and this way we can spend a little bit longer on the road not be worried about bears if we're in that area and it should make things generally run a lot smoother so this isn't going to be like some van lifing channel or every video I'm living in the van or something like that. It's just going to be a tool that makes a regular appearance and will slowly make it nicer as the time goes by. But as you can see, it's all ready to use as is and uh, just minor improvements to come. So if, uh, if you want to see more of the bus or more of any of this stuff, uh, please subscribe. And don't worry if it's something unusual one week. I'm not... <clears throat> I'm not either just giving up on stealth or giving up on the bus. It's I just have a rotation of videos because I want it to remain uh, kind of interesting, not the same thing all the time. And for my own 
sanity as well because I don't want to just be doing stealth every single week. Uh, I like to mix it up. Variety is the spice of life. So cheers guys, we'll see you next week and um, I'll try to throw up the updates onto Step 2 channel as much as I possibly can. So until next time, you've been camping with Steve. Cheers.